Hello, I'm making this video because I want to show you that there is a new Zord alternative on the market. It's called Valibot and it seems to me from this entire article that it is just a smaller Zord. A smaller Zord, what does smaller mean? That doesn't sound like an academic term. Smaller as in it leads to a smaller bundle size in your project. For example, in this very article, the author says that to validate a simple login form, Zord requires 11.51 KB, whereas Valibot requires only 0.7 KB. That's a 94% reduction in bundle size. They've given a lot of good reasons for this, and you can go and check out this at on builder.io. It has a, lo a lot of specs as well, use cases, server requests, but I want to get my hands dirty immediately. Let's go to VS Code. I have a very simple Zord setup right now. If you know how Zord works, over here, I'm fetching a data from a mock API. Then I've created a post schema. I'm parsing the data that is coming from uh, the, uh, the mock API. And if it is true, then I don't do anything. And if it is, uh, it gives an error, I check if this particular error is an instance of a Zord error. And if it is, then I handle the error. In this case, I'm console logging because I'm demonstrating it. Let's go to the page and let's reload this. As you can see here, the data is very valid. Over here, there's a user ID, which is a number, ID, which is a number, title, which is a string, and body, which is a string. You will notice that this corresponds with this schema. User ID is a number, ID is a number, a title is a string, and body is a string. If you were to change one of them to number, watch what happens. Since there, it is in a try and catch block, it doesn't throw an error and crash our entire website. It only console logs the error as we have handled the error right here. Over here, you will notice that this error is an instance of a Zord error. And over here, the code is an invalid type. Expected was a number and received a string. Over here, we expected a number as the body, but we got a string from the mock API. Let's change this back to a string and let's save it. And now there's no error because our data is valid. Valibot is pretty much the same thing. Instead of Zord, we have to use the Valibot library. We've also inferred the type of the data so that we can get our types over here. Body, ID, title, user ID. So that's pretty cool. We can infer the type script type from the schema itself. So that's a very good feature that I like in Zord. Now we've replaced every, now we have replaced everything with the Valibot syntax. And if we refresh the page and check out our console, we will notice that there is no error because the data incoming is very much valid. If we change this to a number and save it, we will notice that now we have a valley error, invalid type, issues, reason, and these errors are fully typed. So if we do this, we will get all the types of that error over here. We don't have to guess or look at the console again and again. So that's pretty cool. So as you notice that I didn't even have to change anything, I just had to replace some syntax and it's pretty much the same library. But the main appeal of this library is right here. The import value of this package is way less than the import value of this package. So if I do the same imports in this package, so if I do this, you will notice that this has, this value is way more than this value. And that is where the main appeal of this library lies. It reduces your bundle size by way too much. And it's, it sounds great. It hasn't been battle tested yet. So I, you don't go ahead and start using this in your projects and stuff. Let it be battle tested for a while. Zord isn't causing any problems right now. A little, with some time, try it out, see how it works. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, that's my video. All right, bye.